peak angle mode. For example, we need an angle of 6 degrees. Press M key to enter the settings menu. Press M key to confirm the torque unit. The screen shows the torque value. In peak angle mode, the torque value should be zero. Adjust it to zero. Press M key to confirm. Now the screen shows the ratio. We don't use any non-standard extension head for this wrench. So one is right. Press M key to confirm. Now the screen shows the angle. Adjust it to six degrees. Please note, before you confirm, put your wrench in a horizontal position. Then, press M key to confirm. Press C key to quit. Now the wrench is automatically initializing the angle. When the dynamic horizontal line on the screen disappears, the angle initialization is completed. The target value appears on the screen. You can use it now. In this mode, the default is to start to measure angle from 5% of torque capacity. Increment is 1 degree. The angular velocity of the wrench should be within 10 degrees to 180 degrees per second. When closing to target angle, yellow light is on and buzzer beeps. Slow down applying force. The angle difference from the target angle is displayed on the screen. When the angle is within plus or minus 2 degrees of the target angle, green light flashes and buzzer beeps faster. The tick mark is displayed on the screen. Stop applying force. When the torque is released, the screen will remain showing the maximum angle, angle difference, the mark and light color. Until the next load starts, the wrench will automatically reset. The light will be off and the test will start again. When the angle is 2 degrees over the target angle, red light turns on and buzzer beeps long. A triangular warning mark is displayed on the screen. You must stop applying torque at once.